Hello everyone, my name is Eric. With me today is a very, very special horse in the race. You are watching OGT. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. It really helps us on the channel and really hit that bell because we want to make certain that you are getting the content for all of this in the industry and so it furthers your education. If you're interested in the Nino or many other from Stallone, check us out, you know where to find us. So in my hand is one of the limited products that I was super excited for, especially coming up to PCA. When I had saw this was posted, I definitely had to bring it into OGT, especially if I really enjoy the rich, like Nicaraguan flavor, the, the punch and the strength that is associated with Stallone, whether it's the Broadleaf, which I consider to be his strongest, or the Castaño San Andreas, or the Maduro, or even if you shift over to his like quote unquote lighter side, like the Palomino Connecticut or the Habano, all of which has a good amount of strength behind it. Tony Barrios uh, has the Cowboy series, which is the six different blends. He also has the Pony, which is sort of the economy blend, which is like a really good example of what Sumatra tobacco can do. And then he's got his limited, which was the Clydesdale. The first time ever we had ever seen a broadleaf come out of Nicaragua here in the industry. Now I have his ultra, ultra limited offering, right here in my hands. What do I mean by when I say ultra limited? Most of the time when someone says, hey, we're, we're dropping a limited run or a small batch, typically that will be around like the mark of like 3000 or so um, in total, which, or they'll say something like 2000 boxes. Uh, when it comes to the Nino, there's so few of them. In fact, there's only 250 boxes made. It is a 20 count, but that means in the entire American US market, there is only 250 boxes available. So as I say, this is ultra limited. That's exactly what it is. You can kind of see on the end here, it says box 140 of 250. There's your total of 250 boxes. 20 count and then all coming one sides with is a six and a quarter by 48. So almost like somewhere between that like Lonsdale Corona size. I believe he's calling it a Corona, but it's more like Lonsdale to me. And then you have the line itself. The Nino is a very exceptional blend. There's a lot of history associated with this particular stick. Right here you have the Nino by Stallone and sort of the silhouette of an older gentleman with a younger boy. That is a part of the story of the Nino. As he told me that Tony said that his first horse that he ever had was named Nino and it was basically given to him by his grandfather and his grandfather was also the one to first sit down and enjoy the art with him and enjoy the time that he had. So he wanted to sort of give this as an homage but what's so very unique, aside from the ultra limited side, aside from the size itself, is the blend. The leaves within here makes it very, very unique. This uses a Sumatra Habano hybrid. When I asked Tony about the blend, he had said that the Sumatra and the Habano have a good amount of flavor, good amount of sweetness, but it's not overbearing. It's not gonna like take over the entire blend. And he wanted that because the, because the filler leaves inside uses something very, very special called Ometepe, and it's been aged for seven years. So essentially, Ometepe is on a small island within the Great Lake of Nicaragua, and there's volcanoes on either side. All of the crop grows in between those volcanoes, and it has a very rich soil. It has a very rich volcanic soil. And so that imparts itself into the flavor of the leaf, and then he took that Ometepe, which is already somewhat on the limited side, and seven years ago placed them away in charred oak barrels to age them, taking on some of that sweetness, that woodiness, a little bit of nuttiness. And then he filled that within the Nino. And so when you're dealing with that, you have that filler of Ometepe, you have that hybrid Sumatra, which by itself is a very limited uh, seed. You have that as the wrapper and combine those two. This I would say is probably more on the more medium side of Stallone's blends. A lot of times you see that rich, heavy hitting power. The Nino is more on that medium, really amazing sweetness and probably the best smooth retro that you are going to experience in his line. When you retro hail this thing, it has very subtle notes. It's not aggressive. It's not the teary eye pepper. It's very light on the palate and smooth. When I had tried it for the first time at PCA, I had said, man, I think I would really like to experiment with uh, coffee. I was able to pair it with an espresso and it simply was magnificent. 
I bring up the Nino because this just arrived at OGT. We have a very limited amount. In fact, as Tony had said, he wanted to spread the love around. So even more limited than the run is a limited amount everyone has. The Nino is available right now. I suggest you pick it up because this is not something that's going to be returning. It uses very special aged Ometepe, which is also not returning. This is one in a million experience from Stallone and is one of the most exciting releases for me personally coming out of the PCA 2022. If you get a chance, pick it up. It is going to be a very light, smooth, rich flavored experience. Thank you all for joining us. Thank you for the support. We'll see you next time on OGT.